संसार समुद्रतार नौकायताभ्याम गुरुभक्तिदाभ्याम वैराग्य साम्राज्यद पूजनाभ्याम नमो नमः श्री गुरुपादुकाभ्याम नमो नमः श्री गुरु पादुकाभ्याम नमो नमः श्री गुरु पादुकाभ्याम चतुर्भुजे चंद्रकला वतन से कुचोन्नते कुंकुमरागशोने पुनरेक्षुपाशाकुशपुष्पाण हस्ते नमस्ते जगदेक कुंडलीकुमारी कुटिले चंडी चराचर सावित्री चामुंडे गुणिनी गुहारिणी गुह्ये गुरुमूर्ते ताम नमामि कामाक्षी गुरुमूर्ते ताम नमामि कामाक्षी गुरुमूर्ते तम नमामि कामाक्षी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई ऑफर माय मोस्ट हम्बल प्रोस्ट्रेशंस एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय बिलवेड मास्टर एंड माय प्योर लव टू द डिवाइन मदर विद दिस we will begin today's satsang as part of the brahmand puran uttarakhand of the brahmand puran dalita sahasranam was given as an upadesh from hari grib rishi to agasti rishi and we were seeing how dalita sahasranam is like a big bag of grapes and it has multiple bunches so till now we saw the sagun sakar swarup of the divine mother the vishva vigraha and then the leela vigraha then the mantra vigraha and the kundalini vigraha we talked about how kundalini vigraha is nothing but a streak of lightning tatil lata samaruchi shat chakro pari samsthita and then the bhavani vidya after that till here is all saguna brahma upasana which means that which makes this body alive that which separates this body from the the dead body of this that can be worshiped both as sagun and nirgun as sagun and sagun and nirgun both lead to the same outcome so as the sagun upasana there is rupa dhyan then there is listening to the stories of the divine mother as katha which is leela vigraha then chanting of the mantra which is also sagun kundalini vigraha that is also sagun next comes the nirgun nirakar swarup of the divine mother to understand the nirgun nirakar let's first understand the five great elements of the panch mahabhut 
everything we see around us including our own body is made up of the pancha mahabhut earth fire water air space if we were to trace back from gross to subtle to subtler to subtlest then we would go from earth water fire air and then space so nirgun nirakar swarup has is also traced back exactly like this first gross physical attributes of the divine mother then subtle which is the leela vikraha then subtler is the mantra vikraha then sat subtlest sorry further going further subtle would be the kundalini vikraha and now subtlest is the nirgun nirakar swarup so to understand nirgun nirakar swarup we have to trace back our journey through the great, five great elements and go back to the space there is another name that's going to come further which is viyat adi jagat prasuhu prasav is to give birth jagat is the creation viyat adi jagat prasuhu this is the name of the divine mother saying the one who has created this entire creation by becoming space etc viyat adi viyat is space adi is etc the divine mother who has become this entire creation starting with becoming the space it is not like the creator created the world the entire creation is nothing but the creator himself if the creator were to create the creation then he would have to use something outside of of him or her which means there is already some something else that exists that is not parmatma which is why i'm saying viyat adi jagat prasuh is the divine mother who has become the entire creation starting with becoming the space etc space air fire water earth so although space has is the most closest aspect to understand the nirgun nirakar because she is beyond the space the space is the closest that we can understand her but understand she is beyond the space so keeping the qualities of the space in mind let's enter the next bunch of names which is from niradhara all the way all the nihi names all the way to nish aparigraha these are all the nirgun nirakar and to understand as i said the nirgun nirakar names we need to un- we need to bring our attention constantly to space so first name is niradhara niranjana niradhara aadhar is that upon which the entire creation rests that is the aadhar of this entire creation us included but she herself is niradhara she is swayam prakashit she doesn't need anyone as her aadhar because again she is not separate from parmatma parmatma's shakti is the divine mother so she is one so my my shakti to speak and me are not different they are one and the same similarly divine mother and parmatma are the same so she is niradhara she is the aadhar she is the foundation upon which this ever changing creation rests yet 
she doesn't require any aadhar she is niradhara like the space space allows for everything to exist if we look around in the room that we are sitting everything we see table chair m- many many things for all those things to exist the most important thing is the space without space none of this exists so the space is the aadhar upon which all of this exists yet the space is not dependent upon the things to be present for it to be present so everything in this room depends upon the availability of space for for them to exist whereas the space doesn't depend on the things that are inside the room to exist similarly this entire creation including the space exists because of the aadhar or the support of the divine mother but she herself is niradhara the one difference between the space and divine mother is space is nitya shuddha okay but it does not have nitya buddha so the very first form that parmatma took is that of the space and then that space was filled with air and then fire water earth so on and so forth so it's important to understand space so niradhara niranjana anjan is kajal we are all wearing a kajal of ignorance kajal signifies our perspective of looking at things like we discussed yesterday of bhavana asat bhavana is our default state we are all looking at the entire creation with the asat bhavana of the mind so the mind with its ignorance is the anjan that we are wearing so, but she is niranjana she doesn't have any kind of ignorance in her perspective her perspective is crystal clear there is no lens of conditioning hence she is able to love us a victim or um a, a criminal equally she doesn't have conditioning saying okay this person committed crime or this person suffered the crime suffered the crime or this person is not related to any any of this crime there's no conditioning because she doesn't have the anjan of ignorance or kajal of ignorance her perspective is crystal clear niradhara niranjana and that's where the bhajan guru krupa anjan payo mere bhai ram bina kuch dekhat nahi ram bina kachu janat nahi it is only by the grace of the guru when he lights the fire of knowledge and motivates us to continuously keep offering the aham bhav that's when we are able to transform our perspective and then all we see is the divine mother all that we are able to see is because of the presence of the divine mother everything within us is the light of the divine mother eventually we end up with the realization that all that exists is her and nothing else that is niranjana niradhara niranjana nirlepa lep is something that you put from outside and lep is again signifying that of ignorance because right now we have so many covers these are upadhi these are all the upadhi janit covers upadhi as in the names and forms that we have acquired then we cover ourselves with those layers lep is something that we put from outside so i as a woman i as a mother i as a wife i as a dentist these are the all the covers that i have on top of me but she is nirlepa 
no covers absolutely no covers she just is for us we are something 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 if i have to describe i'll say i am blank a woman a mother a wife a dentist so on and so forth but for her all that exists is i am that is nirlepa nirmala when we perform actions because we perform our actions through our limited existence which is through our awareness being identified with the mind with the asat bhavana there is always a residue that we create sometimes the residue helps makes us crave for further fruits of such actions or sometimes the residue causes suffering so we are stuck in that realm because of our identification with the asat that causes mal after performing actions but she is nirmala we perform actions out of compulsion she performs actions out of pure love there is no bandhan the sun rises every single day no compulsion purely out of love niradhara niranjana nirlipa nirmala nitya nitya is eternal the i am and fill in the blank i am a baby i am a child i am a teenager i am a woman i am married i am a mother the blank keeps changing i am is the same when we were born i am will be the same till this body undergoes decay and i am will remain even after this body is left away so i am is nitya nirakara i am blank that blank has a form i am a woman there is a form i am a mother there is a form i am a dentist there is a form i am has no form nirakara nirakula kula is chanchalya in the vrittis vritti is constantly going up and down up and down up and down up and down when i am blank is filled that when that blank is filled then 10 thoughts associated with whatever you fill that blank with come into picture i am a woman 10 thoughts related to being a woman come into picture i am a mother 10 thoughts regarding my kids blah 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 about their education their food come into picture i am a dentist my patients teeth all that comes into picture but for a nirakula for i am there are no thoughts what are you going to think about there's nothing to think about you just be the problem is we want to be blank something or someone and then once that blank is filled up depending upon what you fill that blank with those related thoughts are welcomed but if we stay as i am nirakula akula is vrittis constantly creating new thoughts she is nirakula nirguna i am blank whatever you fill it it is filled with triguna the three guna sat rajas tamas i am a professional okay depending upon how i perform i could be satvik rajasik tamasik a mix of rajasik tamasik or satvik rajasik all these things come into play for the blank whatever you fill it with but the i am is nish nirguna there is no gun nish kala kala is rays emanating i am 
is complete. She is complete. There are no rays emerging from rays emerging from her as in dividing her. She cannot be divided. Nishkala. Shanta. I am blank, worried, stressed, under tension. You can fill as many as you want. But I am is always Shanta. Nirak. Nishkama. There are no desires till we are I am. Whatever we fill the blank with, we attract the type of desires. If I am a mother, then my desires will be my child should study well, he should be well settled in his life, he should eat well, he should have a good healthy body. Multiple desires have risen just because I filled the blank. Nishkama. She is. She just is. No desires. Nishkama, Nirupaplava, Uplav is destruction. There is no destruction in I am. I am a child, but now I am a woman. So that where did that child go? Child has decayed, transformed into the adult. Uplav is that. The child is gone. Child has been destroyed and an adult is now fill in the blank. Nishkama Nirupaplava Nitya Mukta Nirvikara Nitya Mukta I am is eternally just I am. We and that is avidya constantly attaching I am to things. In the worldly activities, in our worldly life, yes, we do play the roles. I am plays the role of a mother, of a wife, of a dentist, of a woman, of if I am driving my car, of a driver. The I am assumes all the roles. Yet, I am is none of these roles. I am plays the roles, is none of these roles. Like a person acting in a play. He could act as a villain. But once the play is over, he is not a villain anymore. And the whole time he is playing the role of a villain, he might be completely involved in the play. Yet at the back of the mind, he is always aware, I am not this. I am that which is backstage. That is my true identity. I am just playing this for the sake of the play. And that play is the Leela that is continuously going on. And Lalita is the one who plays effortlessly. What does she play? All of these roles that we have. Your role, my role, his role, her role, their role. Everyone's role, she is just playing. Lalita. But we tend, but it's like a person acting as Ravan in a play. And after the play is over, he is still walking around like a La Ravan. That's pure ignorance. Everyone would laugh at that. But that is what we do. Whatever these roles we assume, we take it way too seriously. So first of all, we have identity crisis. We forget who we are and we start identifying ourselves with the roles. So first problem is identity crisis. Second, then we start taking ourselves way too seriously. All those roles are purely just roles in the play and then we start taking those roles way too seriously. Taking the role seriously is a good thing, but taking ourselves as those roles, taking our, our true identity to be that role is ignorance. Nitya Mukta, Nirvikara, Vikara. There are no Vikar because once the blank is filled up, then Vikars begin. Nitya Mukta, Nirvikara, Nish Prapancha, Prapancha. पंच महाभूत से जनित जो कुछ है वो सब प्रपंच है whatever is there which is made up of the five great elements is all prapanch she is 
beyond the five great elements. She is Nish Prapancha. Nirashraya, she is the Ashray for this entire creation, but she is Nirashraya. I am is the Ashray upon which we fill in the blank. If I am doesn't exist, there is nothing to fill blank. And I am doesn't need anything to exist. I am just is. Nishprapancha, Nira Shraya, Nitya Shuddha, Nitya Buddha. I am by itself. The Divine Mother by herself is untouched. Nitya Shuddha, Nitya Buddha, just like the space. Space in this room allows for me to be present for the book, for the phone, for the table, for the chair, everything to be present. Yet nothing touches the space. If it starts raining outside and the whole sky is filled with rain, the space remains untouched. It is it never gets wet. Nitya Shuddha But the space doesn't have Jnana. She, on the other hand, is Nitya Shuddha, Nitya Buddha. Buddha as in pure knowledge. Nitya Shuddha, Nitya Buddha, Niravadya, Avidya. There is no ignorance in her. Niravadya, Nirantara. There is no limit. With our mind and our intellect, we can never understand, we can never fathom what is infinity, what is infinite existence. Niravadya, Nirantara, Nishkarana. Because of ignorance, we have to keep coming back. But she is Nishkarana. She always exists. She is Nitya. That's why she is Nishkarana. And she is the reason behind, reason behind, reason behind, reason behind, reason. Karana Parachitrupa. Karana Parachitrupa. Karana Para. Which means she is the ultimate cause behind everything there is. Karana Parachitrupa. She is the pure consciousness. Kanchi Purasini Kamupi Thagata Kachana Viharati Karuna Kashmira Stavaka Kumalangalata Karana Parachidrupa Nitya Shuddha Nitya Buddha Niravadya Nirantara Nishkarana Nishkalanka. A person taking part in a play, let's say as Ravan, if walks around out, outside the play as Ravan, there is going to be a kalank on him. People are going to name him names. Which is Nishkalanka. I am blank. Once you filled it, that upadhi can get kalank based upon the actions. I am remains Nishkalanka. Nirupadhi Nirishwara Nirupadhi Nirishwara Upadhi is anything with a name and a form is an Upadhi. She is the very source of all the Upadhis yet she is none of the Upadhis. She is the Ishwar or the ruling power of the entire creation, there is no one to rule her. Nirupadhir Nirishwara. This is her Nirgun Nirakar Swarup. Niradhara Niranjana Nirlepa Nirmala Nitya Nirakara Nirakula Nirguna Nishkala Shanta Nishkama Nirupaplava Nitya Mukta Nirvikara Nishprapancha Nirashraya Nitya Shuddha, Nitya Buddha, Niravadya, Nirantara, Nishkarana, Nishkalanka, Nirupadhir, Nirishwara. This is the Nirgun Nirakar Swarup. 
Now we considered the Vishwa Vigraha, Rup Dhyan, then the Leela Vigraha, then Mantra Vigraha, Kundalini Vigraha, Bhavani Vidya, and then Nirgun Nirakar Swarup. The next set of names are all Phalashruti. When you worship the Divine Mother, when we worship the Divine Mother, what does she do for us? Because we are always about, what am I going to gain? Well, the good news is there is nothing to gain. There is a bunch of things to lose. Ni Raga, Raga Mathani. Manthan is to really stir up all the desires so you can see what am I really desiring. She is Ni Raga. She is completely detached from everything. So worshipping her, the first thing we acquire is detachment. Because she will stir up all the attachments that we have and bring them to the surface for us to start detaching. Niraga Raga Mathani Nir Mada Madanashini This ahankar that yes I am this, I am that this fill in the blank that we continuously keep doing Nir Mada There is no mud and that's because she doesn't have any mud she is able to remove the mud that we have that I am this, I am that, I am this I did this, I did that As and when we keep taking her refuge, we realize that every, every aspect that happens in my world, outside and inside, is truly her blessing. Nirmada Madanashini Nishchinta No more worries. Nirahankara No more pride. Nirmoha No more attachments. No more, this is mine, this is mine, this is mine, this belongs to me. I own this, none of that. Nirmoha Mohanashini. Although she is the entire creation, it is for us to enjoy, for the kids to have fun. She is unattached. She doesn't say, this is mine, this is mine. Nirmoha Mohanashini. Nirmama Mamata Hantri. Mamata is, I, me, myself. This is my family, this is my house, it's all about me, look at me, this is my interest. All of that goes away. Nirmama Mamata Hantri Nishpapa Papanashini To live without the awareness of the Divine Mother within and without is Papa. And once we take her refuge, she removes this pap and makes us aware of her sweet presence within us and without. Nishpapa Papanashini Nishkrodha Krodhashamani Nirlobha Lobhanashini She removes Krodh, Lob, Anger, Greed, Nisanshaya, Sanshaya Gni. Sanshaya is doubts, constant questioning, constant doubting. She removes them. Nisanshaya, Sanshaya Gni. Nirbhava Bhavanashini. Bhav is this sansar. Prapanj. Everything created from the Pancha Mahabhut is Prapanj. She is beyond the Prapanj and she takes her devotee beyond the Prapanj. Nirbhava Bhavanashini. Nirvikalpa Nirabhadha. Sankalp Vikal. Should I do it? Should I not? Maybe I should do this. Maybe, oh, forget it. I shouldn't do this. Maybe I should do something else. This duality, should I do this or should I not, is removed for her bhaktas. She gives them crystal clear clarity. This needs to be done, do it. Then there is no more, should I do this, should I not. Nirvikalpa, nirabadha, there are no more worries, no badha, no suffering. Nirbheda, bhed is this is a table, this is a chair, this is this. All different names and forms eventually merge into oneness. And that oneness is her magnanimous presence. Nirbheda Bhedanashini Nirnasha Asha is, maybe I should, the desires, expectations. 
there are no more expectations because once the devotee realizes that everything I need, mother already has it planned. Mother knows my needs better than I do. So she is continuously keep gonna give keep giving me whatever I need. I need not sit and expect for things. Nirnasha Murutyu Mathani. And once the desires and expectations are dropped, Murutyu, which is death, is dropped. Murutyu Mathani. Because she is Nitya, she takes the devotee to that level of eternal existence. Nishkriya, Nish Aparigra. Nishkriya. She does things so effortlessly, they almost seem like I never did anything. If, a, if I were to cook a big meal for my own family members, because I'm doing it out of love, I don't even feel tired. I'm just cooking and I'm just enjoying it. But if 10 different people come to my house and now I have to cook for them, instantly my attitude changes. Now I have to cook for these people. So the love, when the love from the action is gone, then it becomes karma. And then there is karma phal. But when we start doing all our actions with pure love, then there is we enter the state of Nishkriya, Nish Aparigraha. As we go through our worldly life, we constantly keep looking at things and then we take it in. We taste some food, we take it in. In our chit, oh, I like this. I should, next time I go, I should order this. I like this color, this looks good on me. So, this constantly, Aparigraha is. Constantly gathering, hoarding things within. Aparigraha is constantly being empty. Empty, empty, empty. Only the presence of the Divine Mother and nothing else. Nish Aparigraha. So these are all the Phalashruti of worshipping the Divine Mother. Because the attributes of the Deity that we worship start appearing in us and eventually all our ignorant attributes are completely taken over by the attributes of our Ishtadev or Devi and we eventually lose ourselves, ourselves in Her Majesty's magnanimous presence. Bolo Jagan Mata Ki Jai. With this, we will end the satsang today. Tomorrow, again we will pick up from Nistula. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shantihi 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 Hari Om Shri Gurubhyo Namaha Hari Om